Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can disintegrate objects in Blender easily. So hope you will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let's clear this defaults in by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's import our model here. I will be using this Blender kit, which is free to download to get the models. So here I will search as statue and here I will select this one. So simply click on that image. We will get that loaded here so let's increase the scaling so here you can see we got our model right now let's create a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here and increase the scaling now select this model come to this object options quick effects and select this quick explode so now if i play this you can see the object will be breaking into small pieces now come to this particle system being selected this model come to this particle system here start frame is set to one end frame is set to one so i will change this end frame to let me increase the timeline to 350 so that i can increase the end frame to 250 and lifetime i will make it as 150 frames or else let it be 250 frames only life randomness i will give this as 0.5 and here number indicates the number of pieces that this model is going to break down so if i increase this to thousand and if i play this now it will be breaking into thousand pieces okay so depending upon your requirement you can increase the number for time being i will leave this to thousand so if i play this you can see these pieces are falling down so we need to add collision property to this plane so select this plane come to this physics property add collision and apply collision so now if i play this the particles will not fall down let me enable this cavity option so you can see clearly these particles are not falling down now let's add a force field so go to this add force field add turbulence so select this turbulence here increase the scaling now come to this turbulence property strength i will increase this to 75 and let's check this so depending upon requirement you can change the value so i think this is heavy so let's reduce this to 45 and i think this is fine now let's add another force field so go to this add force field and select the wind increase the scaling and strength i will increase this to 10 so now if i play this you can see the particles are not falling down quickly so here i want these particles to be blown upwards so let's increase the strength a bit like 20 and let's check this okay now you can see these particles are getting blown upwards nice so if you want to give this flow value let's give some flow value here file and noise amount it will give some bit of variation so i will change this to point 0.2 and for this turbulence also i will add this flow value to 10 and noise amount i will change this to 0.5 and now let's play this once again now the particles will be blown upwards slowly so now select the object come to this particle settings scroll down come to this catchy options here we need to click the bake button so before clicking on this bake button i will enable this rotation option so that the particles will be rotating randomly and randomize I will give this a bit value now let's bake the simulation and here before baking the simulation i will increase the particle count to like 5000 and now i will hit this bake button so here the bake is done and if i play this now you can see we got our disintegration effect so in this way we can create this kind of cool disintegration effects in blender easily and by the way i will increase this particle count once again so i will delete the bake and i will increase this particle count to like 500,000 and I will bake this so this may take up some time so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye